Hey, what's up, my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is your first time getting ready to hear me speak. First, let me say welcome. Thank you for the support. I'm the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, this is the third video in the series that I'm doing that says Coronavirus, COVID-19, Life Lessons. Uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to watch the other videos, run over to my Ron's U channel and check those out. But today's topic I wanted to talk to is about valuing those in your life. We kind of went through this because you're hearing a lot of people saying 2020 has just been a crazy year because um, when Kobe Bryant um, passed away um, and all those that were in the helicopter with him, you saw uh, people come together. A lot of people started to call family and friends, tell them how much they love them. And um, unfortunately, for most people, it takes a crisis like that before they wake up. And then we turn around, and usually it lasts for about a couple of weeks where people are really loving and caring for each other until they go back to their old ways and, and, and start to thrash each other and, and, and take things out of context of what's really important in life. And then we turn around and boom, the coronavirus, where everybody is, is at home. And I'm hoping that through this, and, and it's unfortunate that this is not a way that I want anything that I teach and share to be taught through this. But the reason I'm doing this series is because there's so many things that I share and teach that the coronavirus is actually bringing to a reality and eliminates the conversation or the, the doubters or the people that say, well, I disagree with what you, your opinion or whatever, because the proof is right there. And for this, I'm, uh, what I'm getting to is life changes in a second. We have to learn to value and appreciate those that are in our lives. Um, one of the hardest times I've had in my life uh, um, was when this quarantine stuff first started, my mom actually and my dad, they, they instantly quarantined themselves. And so I haven't been able to see them since, um, well, I shouldn't say I haven't seen them. I haven't been able to hug them um, since all of this started. Um, it had been actually a couple of weeks that I hadn't even seen them um, because they had quarantine. But where they live, you can go under their condo and they have a back door. So what we would do is I've taken food to them. My sister does a lot, and, and we'll, we'll go to restaurants or do things for them, and we just bring it to the back door, and then they'll come out their door, wave, and that's the extent of the, of the relationship. And I'm going to tell you guys, the first time that I actually um, left, I actually cried. And um, I know some people are like, well, what's he crying about? It's because... At that point, I kind of went into a place that um, it's, it was a very dark place. And it's, you know, you start listening to all the social media and all that stuff, which you guys watch my other videos, you know, I kind of talked about this. And you have to get away from that stuff. But it was kind of, for me, uh, uh, something that hit me. And, and I know because I share this and teach this all the time about appreciating every moment because none of us are guaranteed the next moment. But it was kind of one of those things that you leave there. And, and when I left there, it was like, is this how it's going to be for a while? Or is this how it's going to be? Or is this the last time I'm going to see them? And all these little crazy thoughts start going through my head. And um, because you guys know, like I share all the time, emotions follow stories. And then the actions you take will follow those emotions. So the stories that I had going on at the time were, were, were not good. They, they were not good. Um, me and uh, one of my other family members were just talking tonight. We were talking about, he's like, whoa, not you. Because those that know me, I'm one of those people that I'll find the good in everything. And for a couple of days there, I was, I was out of the game. For a couple of days, I, I couldn't see, you know, like they said, you hope that there's a little bit of light that you can see in the tunnel because at least there's hope. And for a couple of days, there was no light. There was no, I was just, the stories that I was writing, they were not good. And so my thing is, and again, whether you believe in conspiracy theories or any of the other stuff, bottom line, um, 
it was a dark place. And so what happened is I had to change the stories and get back in the game. I had to cut out the social medias and, and those are things that I did talk about. Um, Got to get out of that stuff and start to, to focus on, okay, what do I want to do with my life? And, and, and where's my life headed? And in a positive way and start to move in that direction. And that's what you need to be doing with this time that we have right now. And value every moment that you do have. And when we do come out of this, make sure that hopefully what you're learning through this process is how much your family means to you. If you didn't know that, I have a very close family and we've all known that. So we didn't need this to wake us up. Um, matter of fact, we do um, the texting, the group texting. We do that at least uh, every other day or every couple of days. Somebody puts something in it you know, in the group text, the next thing you know, everybody's feeding in. And because my family has always been close. And so we did again, didn't need this to wake us up. But for those of you that do, hopefully this is a time that you start to appreciate your friends and family. And when you get that opportunity to get back out here, that you, that you cherish those times and do not take people for granted. Do not take the time for granted. Um, again, we saw how quickly this was where people went in their house and, um, I had someone was telling me that, um, oh, I, I picked up a couple of college students from USC. I was doing a ride share and, um, they were talking about how it hurted because here it is, they were getting ready to go to class one day and the next day they're told school is out and everybody is jumping on planes and headed home. And they're like, I was just cut off from my friends just like that. And that's what I'm saying is that's how quick life and things change. And we all got to experience it with this coronavirus. It's why I said when, when you go to judge someone, like when people look at the homeless people and you start judging them, that's how quickly life changes. And hopefully this will give you more empathy. And um, when you see other people that are having tough times or going through tough challenges and... Um, you got to see what it's like to, and again, I'm not here to preach what to do with the jail system or anything like that. But for a lot of people, they've gotten to experience what it's like to actually be locked in, shut in, and at least you got room to move. But can you imagine as a human being to be put in, in, into a cell and that's your life? And then as a world, we expect you to come out rehabilitated. Hopefully you have more empathy and not saying what the crimes that people are doing. We're not going to even get into that kind of, kind, of, kind of conversation because those are things that need to be addressed so that people aren't in there to begin with. And that's a whole, those are whole other topics. But bottom line is I'm saying, hope, hopefully through all of this, the empathy for others in their situations is something that we can take from this and it will make us more of a human. It's going to take a little while for the distancing um, for some and uh, because you've been programmed right now to look at each other as if you're uh, you have this disease and and again I'm not going to get into that but those that know me know I'm, I'm not into all that but I do it the distancing I wear the gloves I do that because it, it's what makes most people happy and they feel safe um, but for me personally I'm one of those, if it's time for me to go, I'm not going to sit here and stop being a human being. Good, bad, right, or wrong. That's just where I am. Um, my faith is a lot stronger than that. And so, therefore, I don't buy into every, in all the stuff that's going on. But, again, with that said, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I put on my gloves. I put on my mask. I, I, I um, keep my distancing so that others feel safe. Because if you left, anyway, let me leave that alone to say, because you left it to me, I wouldn't be doing none of that. But anyway, um, but that's a whole different conversation. And we're not going to get into all that here. But what I wanted to talk about and what I want you to do is make sure that you learn if you didn't value or you, um, what should we say, you took it for granted that 
All your friends and family will always be here, which we get caught in. It's easy to do. You do it with your partner. You do it with your kids. You see them every day. So you just get, uh, folks, make sure every day you hug your kids, you hug your wife, you tell them how much you love them, tell them how much they mean to you, because in a flicker, all that can change. And hopefully this coronavirus thing has woke people up. Because it's one thing for us to see something like the Kobe incident and we see it from a distance and it affected people. It's a whole different ball game when it's your friends and your family that all of a sudden got sick or maybe passed away. Or the fact that now you're just cut off from them all of a sudden out of the blue. Um, we've all, we're all, all getting a chance to experience this, but hopefully we'll get the lesson and learn to value and love each other. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos, again, run over to ronsuchannel.com. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Give me your feedback, subscribe to the site. If there's certain topics you want me to talk on, please let me know. Um, I'm going to talk some more on uh, a couple more lessons on the coronavirus, COVID-19 life lessons, which is what this series is all about is that because we can take some valuable, valuable lessons from all that's going on. Because as they say, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. Well, class is in session. Are you paying attention? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.